Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I want to welcome you to a rather interesting and a little bit of a different server concept. So for this new season, we've got a work in progress lava world. Now the idea is that the lava melts any ship that falls below it or plunges into it. Currently, we're having some issues with the lava melting ship, so we're working on fixing it, but I thought I'd show you around the bases that people have been building. So first up, tucked away nicely here in this not-so-secret location is a little bit of a little bird. Now, if you've seen this helicopter before, you know this one belongs to Zer. He's got himself a little helipad. He's also got himself a nice uh, plant pot there with a hidden turret in. Very nice indeed. And we'll tuck inside where the climate is a little bit cooler and he's got himself a floor welding machine there he is working away in this section i think he's building himself some hangars got a nice gatling gun turret in there and the bases are starting to take some shape a cool little construction here from so let's have a little bit of a pop around here so some of the outer working so he's got himself a miner and he's starting up it's nice to always see some of the uh, solo factions but let's continue working our way through so the next faction we're actually going to take a look at is the dbs now there's going to be some factions we don't cover like usual either they've not built too much or they're, they're in the middle of summer and we'll get back to looking at them later on in the season so over at the dbs base let's uh let's get a little bit of light over here why don't we so let's rotate that sun right over here and you can see the dbs outpost now a lot of players have decided to build underground and it kind of makes a little bit of sense with this planet you can imagine it would be just a very hot planet in general and with all this lava around you think below the surface might be quite hot as well but you've got to escape the the blistering heat somehow so one of these cool little cells down here is a, a great option to do so so we'll have a quick deep look in here so you can see we've got some drilling ships that are starting to mine out the outer cages the outer area We've got a door that sits lovely above the lava area. Just look at that reinforcement up there at the top. The biggest weak spot of these doors is, of course, the hinges. So, a really cool design taking shape. It's a big door. They've not quite mined out all of the area just yet. So, coming over into this section, we can see some more of their ships hiding away in here in this stealthy black colour scheme and a little bit of a welder over on that side. So, let's continue working our way through. So, we have another faction to have a look at let's have a quick look there we go eld as we're jumping over here some of the players at different sorts of stages with the bases you can see that this one has the outer area of like a, a startup production area and then on the inside it's got this giant gate that's taking shape so you can see the gate swung to the right hand side and they've got a large storage area starting to be built there as well. Looks also like they've got some underground working, starting to build a production center down there. Really cool. I really like this planet. It has some weird ores and it feels kind of warm and dark at the same time, if that makes any sense. So let's keep working our way through. So next up, we've got ourselves fed. So what are fed up to? Now, fed have a really cool base. Let me just try to orientate myself. If we come up to the surface, you notice it's got a fed bunker with some flashy gold text right on the edge of the lava pit there. They've got one of these little ships that's got an area in the center that I'm guessing could be for a miner or transport of some kind. And then we've got the hangar down here itself that's very reinforced, super thick. And it looks like we've got the start of some cutouts. So you can see that these cutouts have been made over here for ship parking. You can see a little bit of ships. And there's still that some they need to carve out if they continue building down here. They've obviously got some larger ships and a little bit of a production area down here. We've got me, who just stands to spawn this med bay. And this giant production centre here. Really nice to see. Look at these little welder ships as well. Quick access, useful for the whole faction. So down on the bottom floor, there's a beacon being placed down here. And it looks like they're evolving this area throughout. A cool little base. Let's continue on. So from Fed, we're looking for uh, KNC. For some reason, this faction always reminds me of KFC. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'm just hungry all the time. But we'll, uh, we'll jump over here. So as we move into their bunker, we'll come on the outside. They've got like a little bit of a castle. They've got these cool floating drones that uh, patrol the perimeter. They're solar powered, so they've pretty much got an endless life. And I think there's about three of them. I've heard some reports of uh, some of them going missing, falling out the sky having other issues but you can see them three patrol around and from a distance it makes it look like players are active in this base even though um, the shields up that can be quite cool so we've got another little ship that's been tucked in down the side there ready for some action pretty nice indeed 
Then as we work our way around, we've got a massive drill miner, if this is correct. Yeah, that's like a, a plunge mine design if I've ever seen one with a little bit of turrets and an access area to these lower catacombs. Really cool indeed. This, this is so much work into this base to show. So and as we enter inside, we'll go past some of their small little robots that are tucked in this side as well as a missile turret. And then they've got the shaft that drops down into this area. So it's quite a labyrinth. It could be quite hard to navigate if you're not a good pilot. And they've also got some 3D printing ships in this area to go with their 3D printer. Very cool indeed. Let's drop ourselves up. They're also constructing a large hangar on this side. So it's going to be quite cool to see this base evolve. Especially with these flyers. We'll see if they're any good at actually defending. They've got... Um, the only turrets they've actually got on. So they've, they've only got one on top. So they're quite vulnerable underneath. But let's continue moving on. So, away from the KFC faction, sorry, sorry uh, K KNC, we're going to head to the POW group. So, I don't know if these guys are prisoners of war or anything, but we'll soon find out. So, now we're over at the POW facility. There isn't much to be seen in sight. You've got a few little turrets. You've got a little drilling ship here, all brightly coloured red. Not too sure if it's to camouflage itself in, especially with some people's monitors. Things match the colour. And they've got the lava pit right on the side there. Quite a lot of cool little defensive turret platforms. And then we can plunge into their base. A little weldy sort of type ship there. Plunging down deeper. A lot of construction still to be done. And as we work our way down even lower, we've got their production starting to take shape. Looks like one of the players, or a few of the players are here, constructing as we go on. Very, very cool indeed. Where is he flying to? Maybe he's got something secret working on. Oh, he's working on some decoys, perhaps, to protect his turrets, keep them alive a little bit longer. But that's going to be a bit of a pain, I'll tell you, because he's going to have to name each individual one of them for them to stay without the server deleting them. So, away from POW, let's continue scrolling down. Now, we're going past some factions, and that's, of course, going to happen. We've got the RAB. So having a quick glance at RAB, of course they have some sensors set it up in here to detect me, but this is a really cool outpost, lots of things going on. So this is the RAB trade hub, they've got some wonky turrets, they've even got a crash plane that's smashed into the side here, some more cool turrets up there, and they've got a few little signposts up, challenge tower of power, so it looks like some, something where they tried to climb up, but maybe a game, sh they've got a little game show going on over here, with some buttons on top, cool little concept, entering in through the door, need rescue, call us, RAB, maybe a rescue service, that would be cool to offer, another crashed item up there, and they've got a big ship that's taking shape, let's have a look at some of their fighters down here, that's quite cool, multiple engines at the back and a connection pod in the centre, Got some multiple smaller ships there. One that looks like it's taking some damage, maybe a fight. Look at them rocket pods though. He's got the Gatling guns and he's packing some serious firepower with the rockets as well. Some other damaged ships in here. So these must have been either involved in a little bit of a fight or some collisions. Moving up, we've got this. Wow, this looks cool. This looks like um, a ship from Star Wars a little bit, but the difference is they've added an extra cockpit onto that area. Very nice. A little bit exposed on the component side of things that might get shot up. So moving back, we've also got some welding ships being built there. And is this a miner? A very stealth looking miner. Very cool indeed. And heading over into this section, we've got a large ship taking shape in here. The whole rear is missing, not yet built. But it looks like it's got quite a cool interior, maybe even with some hangar bays when this gets constructed. The roof's missing as well. So I'm not too sure if this is damaged or they've just not finished up welding it. Probably not finished up welding it. Very, very cool indeed. We've got a player who's bottling about as well. He's probably getting a bit nervous when I set off his uh, warning sensors. Very cool little outpost. Let's tuck ourselves in and see if we've missed any other areas. So we've got an internal tunnel in this section with some printers, docks one and two. And over on this section, we've got another little pit here, like a, a mini lava pit within the base and an access door that takes you through to a little meeting room and respawn area. Really nice. I really like this base. And I also like these airlocks. They've got three airlocks in a row to really punish players who try to assault through in this direction. Really cool little concept. Anyway, let's continue on. So, with RSQ out the way, let's head over to the SSS faction. Or oh, the sh -s -s faction. Okay, so we're over here at their little outpost. What I like about this one, it's really well concealed. They've got some big bushes. They've got the door here that just drops you in. This is like another little solo outpost, maybe one or two players at maximum. Plenty of turret protection inside that I'm glad to see. Bases that don't have enough turrets really get raided quite quick. 
We've got a large gap down here at the bottom to stop anyone uh, causing any issues. And we've got a 3D printer down at that end. So there's a lot of construction of unconstructed blocks to be done. We've got Bay 1 taking shape there. But when this is produced, this should be able to maintain a solo player really quite well. And he's, of course, right on the edge of the lava. Awesome. Let's continue on. So we've got VAC to visit yet next. So let's see if we can find them. Sometimes the letters are tucked in. So we've got Alpha Base. Let's have a look at this. This is another one of them bases that's just on the edge of the lava. So you can see the lava pool. And you can see it's docked on the side here. So the only way of attacking it is from up above or straight across. If you dive down, the lava will melt you away. Or it will do once we've fixed it. So you can see we've got some ships taking place in here. We've also got a drill ship of large calibre. A really cool production room. I quite like this area, with a complete with a catwalk, oxygen, and a medical room. Really nice. I like the doors on this one as well. You can see the doors are on like a panel. You can see it's all accessible from here, and they will then rotor out and fold in. Not using hinges, surprisingly. Everyone's using hinges at the moment, but they can be quite vulnerable. Okay, so away from VAC, let's continue our tour. So we've got DND to visit. Visit? Have we visited MBS? Let's just double check. I feel like we may have missed them out. Okay, no, we haven't. So now we're over at the MBS faction. You can see they've got a large cruiser set up in this area. I'm just going to make sure that they're that they're building in this area too. Yes, they are. Lovely. So this place is packed to the brim with some cool stuff. We've got a massive door that looks over the lava lake over in that section they've got this cool little side entrance as well maybe for dropping down small fighters and they've got a few of these larger sort of ships with rocket pods and turrets on the side as well as a 3d printer let's have a look at this so this is like another sort of detailed fighter type design we'll have to see how effective these are in combat so there's a lot of ships in here that'll be ready to fight very shortly and then if we took up here we've got another hangar bay this one's a little bit of a smaller one very very cool production located and is this an elevator? No, maybe not. Maybe it's just a sealed off hangar. A really cool little base from MBS though. I'm looking forward to having a good pry through this as it develops. So away from MBS, the one we nearly forgot, and over to DND. So let's scroll ourselves down. What are DND doing? They've got lots of decoys, I'll tell you that. So now that we're over at the DND base, you'll notice they've got a wall full of decoys all over the place they've also got some small ships that are tucked away i think that's a minor well it's quite obvious that they're here in this location but at least they've got the protection to hold themselves together so as we enter in through the airlock we've got more turret defenses and then we're inside here in hangar one so inside hangar one we've got plenty of ships we've got production we've got these cool little shafts that lead you through the outpost hangar two looks like it's going to be over there once it's finished construction and that's production and reactors and it looks like it's being built as we speak, we've got a player in here working away. And over here is the CIC and med bay. So cool, it's taking shape. There's a there's a few more bits to this base, but I still think it's pretty damn awesome for us, either a solo or a one and two man faction. So, next up we're going to SUS. SUS. Something sounds a bit suspicious about that. Now these guys, they they like their PvP. We, we know that. They've made that very clear. So let's have a look what they've got here to defend themselves. So we've got Towers of Doom. We've got little turrets located. Are these turrets self-welding? No, nope, they're not. So we've got a large ship up here, Miner. Very capable. Oh, hang on, it looks like it might even be doing something now. Yeah, Void's actually, in fact, trying to print off a large ship. Or it looks like maybe some sort of large missile design. be interesting to see what that is. The, the armor reminds me of some sort of missile, something that would penetrate into a base or armor. More miners back here. Printing device there as Void's accessing it. And we've got another printing system down here. Some little welding ships to produce ships quickly. Another fighter. And as we plunge into the hangar, we've got extra ships on backup. Something that I think is really cool is when factions have extra ships, but they have them as, you know, fully function. They're not just like little wheelchairs with machine guns on. So we've got another turret system there, and then we can plunge deeper into their catacombs. I think that's just a, like a mine shaft that they've put out at the moment in time very very cool indeed uh, some of you are probably wondering in the comment section Aaron you're revealing all the secrets of the base but the whole point of this server is a community server where we, we, we share our creations and when people play on this they know what they're getting into they know that it's going to be covered so over to the last group of guys I want to see so we're going to head over to the zap base now zap in the last one did a really cool door 
So let's see what's going on in the Zap base. So we've got one ship that's taking destruction really large. Lots of these little solar power turrets. That'll be great for defense. And as we plunge in, we've got another mini Zap door in this case. And this is how far the base has come along. We've got production, very detailed, very cool looking. We've got ourselves a rover. Interesting indeed. A little mining rover, maybe for clearing out the tunnels. Some small Zap fighters and a production facility over here. Let's see if we've missed anything. So, no, we've not missed anything. So, the other thing is, players can't build below the lava layer on this server as well. So, they've got to be careful. They can't dig too far down or else they will have some damage when it's turned on. So, that's the creations on the server at the moment. If you're interested in joining um, on our little server, you can either get involved through the Active and Loyal program. That basically means hanging out with us, getting involved with the community. Or, alternatively, you can get involved through our Patreon as well and support us directly. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.